Hello everyone. This is a quick tutorial of how to install Pavel Blend X, um, Blender X-Ray add-on into Blender. So, um, uh, if you go to the, if you search up Pavel Blend Stalker, uh, that's what I just use, um, and you'll see a GitHub page for Pavel Blend X-Ray uh, Stalker add-on for Blender. And um, what this add-on for Blender does is basically allows you to import a bunch of um, a bunch of file extensions for that's uh, that are used a lot in Stalker modding. So you're able to import OGF files, you're able to import uh, object files, all these uh, different uh, file uh, ex file extensions are used a lot in soccer modding. So um, how you're able to install it is you first need a, um, is you first need a, uh, um, you first need a version of Blender that's able to uh, use this extension. So you're able to see the, um, you're able to see the uh, different versions that, ex that accept different versions of Blender that accept this um, add-on. So if we go to Wiki Instructions right here, the reason I'm creating all this is because all of it's in fucking Russian. So if you go to, da if you go to, um, uh, I think you will see a, a different, um, you'll see different um, versions of uh, Blender that are able to be uh, used. Second. Yeah, here it is. You'll see that the um, if you translate this into uh, English, you'll see these are all the versions of Blender that um, accept uh, accept um, this add-on. So you're able to use this add-on with these versions of Blender right here. So for this video, I'm gonna pick a 3.6 LTS. So if you search up Blender, Blender.org, and go to download, um, looking for Blender LTS. And go to Blender 3.6 LTS. Go to um, Windows Installer right here. It'll install a, um, a file onto your uh, onto your um, PC called Blender 3.6.10 um, x64.msi. You want to install this uh, Blender real quick. I'm going to be right back once I have it installed. On second thought, I'll probably just show the installation process for the hell of it. So once you have Blender 3.6 um, LTS installed right here, um, there we go, 3.6 LTS. Um, you want to, if you're playing on, Win if you're uh, doing it on Windows uh, Windows 10 like me, all you have to do is run it. Um, you may see a pop-up that says um, uh, Windows prevented you from running this installation because it may contain a virus or whatever. All you have to do to bypass that is press the more button right here and then press run anyways and you'll see the screen pop up. Welcome to the Blender uh, Blender Setup Wizard. Click next. Accept the terms of service. Hope I don't show anything uh, too important. There we go. Press install. And once you're here, um, you want to wait a little bit. It's taking a longer than it used to. So once it's done, you'll have Blender uh, finished and you'll have the Blender um, Blender 3.6 uh, ready. You can pull it up, but we still have to install the add-on for this version. So let's go do that real quick. So to do this, you want to uh, go back to um, your website right here. You want to go to Pavel Blend, um, go back to the main page right here. Um, once you're back at the main page, uh, Blender 3.6, you want to go to um, uh, wiki you want to press wiki instructions again you want to go to download and you'll see the uh, latest versions I believe uh, no oh uh, where is it download oh yeah late uh, releases slash latest you want to click that and I think you'll see some latest versions yep uh, v 2.3.8 this is the latest so to install it all you have to do is press the zip file right here there we go and once you have it installed, you want to pull it up. Let me just uh, go back to, there we go. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, I already have it installed on my, I um, already have it installed in my, uh, my PC at this point right here. So once you have it right here, you're able to install it into Blender. So I'll show you how to do that. So you want to pull up Blender 3.6 LTS. You want to click out of it, delete the default cube. Um, you want to go to preferences. You want to go to add-ons right here. You want to click install and you want to find the uh, the um, 
the file responsible, which should be at the bottom. You'll see blender.xray2.3.8.2. Uh, I'm gonna click that, install add-on. And once it does, um, it should pop up immediately. Uh, I don't know why it didn't. Um, you may have to search up X-ray, uh, oh yeah, X-ray engine tools. Um, if, if it didn't show up, I'm automatically you want to um, disable enable add-ons only. You want to search up uh, X-ray engine tools. You'll see this right here. You want to click, um, you want to click uh, the little check mark so it, it's checked, and you want to click save preferences if you um, have disabled auto. You want to click save preferences, and it should work. So we can test if it's working by uh, by going to file right here, go to import and you're able to see all the uh, different extensions you're able to import and export. Look at all that. So using this add-on, you're able to install, you're able to import a bunch of uh, cool um, different file extensions and it'll probably make your whole life a lot easier so you don't have to it like import and maybe convert files or all that baloney. So um, I hope you found this uh, video helpful. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. See ya.